backyard agriculture has become very popular in the last few years, and especially with COVID and people being at home, and um, backyard agriculture has really exploded. And so there's been a lot of calls uh, at the county level for things like backyard poultry and gardening and even honeybees. And so uh, Aggie Con partnered with Entomology and we're starting to create the um, list of fact sheets starting off with the budget or how much it costs to get started on bees. We, we do really listen to what the public needs in terms of extension support. Um, so we hear from the county educators what people are looking for, um, areas that may be unique or different um, that need a little bit more support. And when we were hearing about beekeepers and you know not even knowing exactly what equipment to buy, so not even having a list of the equipment and the associated costs if they're trying to decide if they want to become a beekeeper, um, we didn't even have a fact sheet on that. And so we're really starting from the ground level and working on very much the basics, just enough to get people started and we'll keep building on those materials um, as we progress. Bees have a USDA designation of livestock. Um, people are, are a little bit confused about that, but we do eat honey. Um, they also create another product, uh, wax. So uh, here in Oklahoma, we actually have really good laws to protect beekeepers. Um, the law basically states that you can have bees um, and that includes in your neighborhood and things like that. I think that being a good neighbor is important. So making sure that if you do put a beehive in your backyard, that it's in a place that won't interfere with your neighbors. You make sure you let your neighbors know and items like that. Um, there are costs associated with bees. So like you can see behind me, um, these boxes have frames in them. Um, there are other pieces of equipment that you just really need, like a bee suit. Um, but just to get started, ballpark range is between maybe say five and seven hundred dollars. And so there is a cost associated with that. Um, one of those costs can be purchasing the bees themselves. Um, so this is something that you can't just all of a sudden decide I'm going to have bees tomorrow. Um, typically there's a season for getting bees. Uh, most people put their orders in in January and then pick up their bees around this time of the year. Uh, so we, are, we already started with a budget for beekeepers uh, to begin with, and then we'll continue to build on that and how certain decisions that you make to manage your hive can impact your profits if you're selling honey. Although bees are a unique species for agriculture, um, we really need to think of them the same way that we think about cattle and other livestock and managing crops when it comes to decision making. 